Welcome, everybody, to the Spurs 9501 podcast. We have Guillaume from Brazil Spurs with us today. We've also got Cam. And we're going to do a preview of the FA Cup fourth round match against Wickham Wanderers on Monday. So welcome, everybody, again to the podcast. Uh, I'm going to come to Guillaume first. Um, we've heard some injury news about um, Aurier, Doherty, uh, Deli Ali may be injured and not playing. So what type of team do you think Jose's, Jose is going to play on Monday? Uh, hello, Ray. Well, I think it's going to be a, a very different team. Uh, you know, it's going to use it uh, to rotate the squad. Uh, we have some injuries, of course, but I expect players that haven't been playing so much lately in the Premiership, like uh, Lamela, perhaps even Jetson Fernandez, I don't know, but Winks, uh, rotated defenders, uh, probably Carlos Vinicius up front. Yep, yep. Uh, but I think we have enough uh, within our squads to, to do the job. So do you think he's going to rest players like Harry Kane and Sonny? Do you think he's going to have them on the bench? Yeah, probably, because, you know, <laughs> lately we're we supposed to get some easy matches on the Cups, but it turned out the, they weren't quite so easy. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, Sonny and Kane are on the bench definitely as a backup. Yeah. And perhaps Bale starts now. No. Oh, that's a good, interesting. That's interesting you talk about Bale because Cam, Bale is his favorite player. So we're going to come to Cam in a minute. So, so before we um, move to Cam, uh, Guillaume, uh, what, do you, what type of formation is he going to play? Like against Sheffield United, he played five at the back. Do you think he's going to stay with that or is he going to go back to four, two, three, one? Or what, what type of formation do you think he's going to play? And then I'll come to mm, Cam. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, I think the. Uh, when he tried the, the formation with three defenders, uh, Ovier and Reguilon and wingbacks against Sheffield, at first it sounded like, uh, whoa, they are bottom of the league. Why so defensive? But uh, it looks like it was a, a trial match, you know, a safe trial to test the formation. Okay. And perhaps we can see something similar uh, expected uh, that we should really expect to win that match. So he can afford to, to do some tricks some changes, some experiments. Sure. Okay. Cam, um, with uh, Aurier injured, potentially Doherty injured as well, who do you think is going to play at right back? And again, same question that Guillaume, what formation do you think he's going to play? Uh, firstly, let me welcome Gil Henry and all uh, Brazil Spurs people, because it's very nice to have you. And it's so good to see there's so yeah. many Spurs fans all around the world, and then we're getting in touch with them all. So come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Brazil come on, Spurs. Spurs. Come on, you Brazil Spurs, um, yeah. Yes. Um, I was going to say, really interesting point that Doher I'm glad that in a way Doherty's injured and I had nothing to do with it. I'm in Florida, but uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be very Yeah, I, just, I should let you know, Guillaume, that uh, Cam doesn't like Doherty at all. That's why he's making these comments here. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, well, not, not this season so far, but I think it is a good chance to try Tanganga on that side. Um, and uh, I, I mean... Yeah, yeah. He's played there before. I mean, he's been pretty impressive. And I think someone like Tanganga needs to now start getting a lot more games under his belt and start building up some speed, building up some form, and building up, uh, uh, um, you know, a bit, a bit, a bit more match time under his belt. Same goes for Rodon. I think Rodon will play. I think um, Toby will play. I think those will be our two centre backs. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe that he will definitely play. Uh, Regulon on the other side because um, of his pace and because we need a, that outlet. I think that um, Wickham are no slouches. They're, uh, they're going to be playing at home. The FA Cup for the lower teams is very, very important and it's very big. And, you know, it could be a banana skin. If we were playing a big team in the FA Cup in this round, we'll all be saying, uh, talking very differently because we know you've got two teams that are in the Premiership. They're going to play in a particular way and it's going to be more like another Premiership game, but a, a Cup game. But when you go down to a place like Wickham, you know, this is their... Cup final in a way. They got Spurs there. They got Mourinho there. They got the big names there, and they want to, you know, they want to punch above their weight. So it's not going to be an easy game. I think he'll play with a strong midfield. We'll definitely have Tangi in there, and probably Sissoko. Um, up front, I'm hoping it's going to be Vinicius and Bale, which will be really important to us. Um, and and I I agree with Guilherme that we need. Lamella out back. I don't know. You you never mentioned Lo Celso when you mentioned the injury list. So if Lo Celso is not Lo Celso's definitely out. He's not playing. You said he's that. Not he's not playing. Yeah. So I mean, 
Jetson, I would say if he's not going back to uh, Portugal, then he should be playing. Maybe he's not going back to Portugal because of uh, the lockdown, because no one's letting anyone from England in. But yeah, but I think there's, there's talk of Jetson going to Torino or something like that. So there may be something happening there. But uh, let me go to Guillaume again. Um, what about the midfield? I mean, Kamal mentioned Tange and Sissoko and potentially Hoiberg. What, what midfield would you play, Guillaume, in, in, in this match? Uh, I'll probably give Hoiberg a rest. Mm -hmm. He's been playing non stop on the Premier League. So probably. You think we can afford Winks to give him a rest? Uh, on that specific match, yes. Okay. Perhaps in later stages, uh, I'll think not. But uh, perhaps Winks is so cool. Uh, I don't know what kind of formation he's going to, like uh, for 2 3 1, perhaps with Dele or Lamel or Lucas and Bale, something yeah. like that. So, would you, put, would you play Tangre and Dumbele again in midfield or not? Yeah, mate. Or would you give him uh, a I'm as a, a, a bench. Yeah. So, just to give him, keep him on the bench, yeah? Yeah. And up front, are you playing? So, who's your middle three? Are you playing Lucas, Lamella, and who else are you playing in the three then? Yeah, uh, Lucas Lamel and Bale and Carlos okay. Vinicius. And Vinicius up front. Okay, that's a good formation. Yeah, Kamal, do you agree with that or would you change that? I do. I mean, I just think that um, let's not take Wickham for granted. I mean, this could be a very, very tough game. Mm -hmm. And I think that Mourinho will have done his homework. And what he doesn't want is at this early stage of the competition to start getting knocked out of the FA Cup, which, let's face it, is a pretty important cup for him. So I've got a feeling they're going to go with a very strong team. Where do, so where are, like, sorry, Cam, let me ask you a question. Where are Wickham in the... I don't know. I don't follow the championship, but where are they in the championship? They're not high up. OK. They're very close to the bottom. OK. But this is the FA Cup, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I agree, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, I just think that um, exactly what Guilherme said is very important because... Um, we need those players to get match time. And this is a good time to give them that match time. We've got to get Lamella match fit because he's, he's an important player when he is fit, right? Uh, I've, I've said enough about Bale in the past, but he's got to be on, on there. Uh, you say Delhi's out. I would have thought Delhi would have been 100% fit for this game, but if he's out, he is out. Well, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's got to be Winks and Sissoko. I've got a feeling he'll play Tangi. Personally, I agree with you. He should, probably should rest him or put him on the bench. But um, I think he's going to want some comfort in midfield to give him something that will, an outlet that will prove that, that we don't go and lose this game. And I will just refer back to one of the earlier Europa League games, which we did lose in, um, was it Antwerp? Was it in Belgium? Yeah, Antwerp. Where we... Where we um, did fall back on, on a second string, right? And played awful. And, you know, at some one stage, we could have been in threat of not go, going through as, as favourites, you know, mm -hmm. as the top of the group. I don't think that um, Mourinho will make that mistake again. Now, the thing is, Guillaume, it, with the important match with Liverpool coming along, maybe just three days later, so playing Wickham on the Monday, potentially could go to extra time and penalties. And then you've got Liverpool on the Thursday, uh, do you actually think he's going to play some of his top players, like, for example, Hoybieg, Lloris? Are these guys going to play or not? What do you think, Ian? Yeah, I think they'll probably be, be on the bench to not risk it. And we have Liverpool next, but we have a really tough uh, run of fixtures coming up. Uh, so uh, I think you, it's good to give minutes uh, to the other players that haven't been playing much in the Premiership. And a, there's no better spot lately than that. Uh, playing the FA Cup, and uh, it's a, a time of the season where we need our squad more than ever, so it's good to do. It's but the problem is, play. yeah, mate, people like Vinicius and, you know, these people, they haven't been playing regularly, so if you put them in an FA Cup tie, they may not be match fit, they may not be match sharp. The Wickham are not a bad team, you know, so I'm not sure that um, Jose is going to take a chance because he really likes the Cups. So um, I think Vinicius will play, but I think some other people may not play, like Lucas. Yeah, may not all of them all together. Yeah. Can I just add, right, you, are, you asked a very important question, where are Wickham? Well, Wickham are bottom of the champion. Oh, my God, they're bottom, are they? They played 23 games. They've won three. They've drawn six, lost 14, and have a goal difference of minus 19. And they are um, seven points off safety and four points off the next team, Sheffield Wednesday. So maybe... It means nothing, 
The cam means nothing in the cup. The cup is a one-off match. It's, you know, it doesn't mean anything. But, you know, three wins, you know, I mean, I think that that will have some bearing on the way Mourinho puts out his team, especially since we, we overran Brentford so easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, OK, Cam, I mean, other than that, any other thoughts about the match? I mean, how do you think it's going to go? Prediction? I think very, very clearly we're probably going to be looking at um, a two, two or three, one or a three nil. Um, I think that we're going to comfortably win this and I think Mourinho will do what it takes to win it and move on to the next round. Just to add one thing, you say that we've got a difficult game coming up against Liverpool, but one thing that I think in Mourinho's mindset is very important is keeping players at that match fitness ready. And the only way he could see doing that is by playing them. So, you know, sitting, interestingly, Hobier had a week off and he was awful in that game. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, but playing every other day in three days, his mindset, his running, his fitness, he was absolutely fantastic. I am not sure that giving Hobier the kind of rest that we all think he needs is actually good for him as a player. So that may have a, a bearing on the team too. I think Hobier is definitely going to play. I don't see Jose, he trusts Hobier, he's definitely going to play. So I can't see anything happening there. But Guillaume, um, let me come back to you. Uh, how popular is, uh, let's ask this, uh, in terms of the FA Cup in Brazil, has it got quite high profile? Are people interested in it? Give us some ideas about that. As the whole of the competition, not so in terms of TV broadcasting. Uh, of course, uh, it's the oldest comp club competition in the world, so it's highly prestigious. Uh, it gets more attention, obviously, to, towards the end of the round, semi-finals, yeah. final, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. But uh, it's a respected one. So because people like Lucas and Vinicius now playing at, at Spurs, did Spurs got a higher profile in Brazil? Yes, uh, after the Lucas hat-trick, yeah, it grew a lot. Uh, yeah. In Brazil, you see kids with the t-shirts. And, um, but not quite as, as I saw with Bale in his first time at the club. Mm. It's just when really got big here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Guillaume, I want to ask you for a prediction for the score on Monday. Please give us your score prediction. 4-1. Four, 4-1 one. Four, one to Wickham or Tottenham? To Tottenham, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Kamal, can I have your prediction, please? 3-0. Okay, my prediction is going to be 3-1. I think we're going to win 3-1 and go through to the next round. So I really do. But I really appreciate your time on the podcast, giving us your views, Guillaume. And Cam, it's been really good. And uh, we will definitely reconvene in another time to discuss uh, Brazil Spurs to learn more about the supporters club, the different cities, wow. how many supporters you have, et cetera, et cetera. So all we can say now is come on you Spurs and let's hope that we do really well in the next round, yeah? Thanks, guys. Thank you.